the Chengdu Zhena, a rather unique interceptor fighter, was researched and developed by the Chengdu Aviation Industry Corporation in the 1960s. The program was cancelled in 1980 due to difficulties with domestic WS-6 engines and the influence of the Cultural Revolution. However, the experience from the development of the J-9, especially the canal delta layout, helped the Chinese engineers gain many valuable lessons that were later successfully applied on the Chengdu J-10. In the earlier 1960s, China's People's Liberation Army found itself unable to acquire modern fighter aircraft with first-generation capabilities, and thus risked imminently losing parity with the United States and Soviet Union, with the former developing the F-4E and F-5E, while the latter worked on the MiG-23 and MiG-25. The PLA initiated two third-generation fighter programs, the Shenzhen J-8 and Chengdu J-9. It should be noted that, by the time China developed the J-9, the United States had put into service its first fourth-generation fighter, the F-14 Tomcat. The J-9 was designed with the Canard Delta Wing design and a completely new airframe with a single-engine configuration. The fighter specifications were highly ambitious, requiring speeds of Mark 2.4 and altitudes of 20 km. To achieve high speeds and altitudes, the J-9 was to be equipped with a Shenzhen WS-6 turbofan engine also a highly ambitious design with 27,000 pounds of afterburning thrust. The engine was compatible to that of the Pratt and Whitney F-100, which powered the American F-16 and F-15 fighters of the fourth generation, and considerably more powerful than the M-88, which powers the French Rafale fighters today. The Cultural Revolution stalled China's development of its military aviation considerably, affecting the J-9 program. Difficulties producing the WS-6 engine, in particular, made development of the aircraft extremely difficult. The parallel J-8 interceptor program, a far simpler and less ambitious aircraft, making use of Gupen 7A turbojet engines closely derived from those of the MiG-21 and using an airframe which appear to apply the same concept as the J-7 only on an enlarged scale. Thus became the PLA's early third-generation jet design for air-to-air -air combat. Despite the failure, the experience from the J-9 project were applied on the later J-10. The J-10 was heavily inspired by the J-9 program and inherited its Canard Delta Wing design. The Canard Delta Wing design could also be applied on the Chengdu J-20, the world's first fifth-generation fighter developed outside the United States, and its entry into service would become a landmark in the development of Chinese military aviation. Mm -hmm.